In this video, I will be installing Chrome OS Flex onto a separate drive. Generally, when you install Chrome OS Flex, it will use the existing drive in your computer and won't give you any other option. But if you want to keep things separate, I will show how to install Chrome OS Flex onto a separate drive. And to do this, you'll need a USB flash drive of at least 8GB for the Chrome OS Flex installation media. I'm currently running Debian Linux, but this can work with other distributions as well. So to show my disks, I'm going to go into Gparted. And so I have here Dev SDA, which is my main disk, 476GB. And then I have here Dev SDB, and this is where I'm going to be installing Chrome OS Flex. It's 232 gigs. And finally, I have Dev SDC, and this is where I'm going to be putting the Chrome OS Flex installation media. Now to download Chrome OS Flex, the recent versions of Flex prevent you from installing it onto a separate drive, but you can still get this to work using a previous version. So I'll be using version 117, which is not easily found, and I have included a link in the description below. After downloading, I'm going to extract it. And it's extracted the bin file. And now I'm going to put the file onto my USB drive. Open up a terminal. And I'm going to sudo in. And I'm going to use PV Pipe Viewer to put the image onto the USB drive. And if you don't have PV, you can use DD, for example, or you can just install it. So, for example, apt get install PV. And then PV, and then my image. I'm just going to go to dev SDC, enter, and this will take a little bit of time. All right, it has completed, and I'm going to view the partition structure for SDC. Next, going to mount partition number 12, and so I'm going to mount it to the MNT directory, the mount directory, which is empty. And I'm going to go into it, and then go into the EFI directory, and then go into the boot directory. And I'm going to be editing the grub configuration file so I can get dev mode. So you can use whichever editor. I'm going to use VI. And so what I am going to do is going to be doing a search and replace for every instance of CROS underscore EFI. And then I'm going to be appending CROS underscore debug. And there's going to be five instances in total in the configuration file. And it's going to be under each menu entry line. And so in VI, I'm going to do a search and replace. Type in colon, one, comma, dollar sign, S for search, forward slash, cross EFI, forward slash, cross EFI, space, cross debug. And then forward slash G. And it says at the bottom, five substitutions on five lines. So I know it's been completed. And now I'm going to write and quit, so colon WQ. So the changes have been made, and now I'm going to reboot my computer and go into the BIOS. All right, so in my BIOS, I have secure boot disabled and boot option number one, which is my USB device, and it's going to be booting from it, and it's going to be booting partition 12. So that's good, and now I'm going to boot from it. All right, I get the welcome screen, get started. And I'm going to do try it first, keep your OS and run Chrome OS Flex from USB. Next. And I'm going to do browse as guest. And I'm going to untick, accept and continue. I'm going to open up a shell, control alt plus T and type in shell. 
and type in ls block. And so SDA is my main drive, SDB is my empty drive, and SDC is my USB flash drive. So I'm going to be installing Chrome OS Flex onto my separate drive, SDB. sudo chrome os dash install, skip source removable, skip destination removable, and the destination is going to be dev sdb. Enter, and it's asking for confirmation, yes. And now it's going to install it on my separate drive. All right, installation is completed. And now I'm going to shut down my computer, unplug my USB flash drive, and turn on my computer, then go back into the BIOS. All right, in my boot options, I have Debian first, and then second, I have Chrome OS Flex, but it may also be seen as UFI OS instead. So I'm gonna change the order, save changes, and I'm gonna boot into it. All right, the welcome screen comes up, and it's gonna go through it. And you can sign in, but for now, I'm just going to browse this guest, untick, accept and continue, and Chrome OS is up on my separate drive. Now I'm going to restart and go back into Debian. Now, if I want to choose between Debian and Flex, it would be tedious to change the boot order that way. So I can create a grub boot entry to have it boot into Flex. So I'm going to go into Debian. Open up a terminal sudo in, go into the grub.d directory, and then going to edit the 40 underscore custom file. And this is where I'm going to put in an entry for Chrome OS Flex. All right, so beginning menu entry and then the label Chrome OS Flex and then INS mod chain, so it can load it. So I can do chain loading, and then INS mod part underscore GPT, so that it can handle GPT partitions, and then set root equals HD0, and then GPT12, partition number 12. And I'll be showing you why it's HD0 for me. And then finally, chain loader, it's going to be the EFI boot grubx64 EFI boot file. And that is what it's going to load. And then once done, I'm going to write and quit. And I'm going to update grub. So I'm going to do a grub make config. All right, it's completed. And now I'm going to restart my computer. All right, grub comes up and we see Chrome OS Flex here. And before booting into it, I'm going to type in C to go into the command line. And I'm going to type in LS so I can see my devices and partitions. And we see there, there's HD0, comma, GPT12. So that's how I know that this is the partition for it for Chrome OS Flex. And now I'm going to escape to get out. And now I'm going to boot Chrome OS Flex. All right, Chrome OS Flex comes up, and so that's it. That's how you can install Chrome OS Flex on a separate drive and dual boot with Linux. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.